Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Tell you. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Uh, but let's just start from here. All right, because this one I don't recognize. So, turn back on comments for videos that have the comments turned off. Um, well, here's the deal. With that, excuse me. I don't know what you mean, if you can clarify. Technically, there shouldn't be videos with the comments turned off, but there probably are. All right, allow me to explain the history of DSP Gaming and what happened with this channel, okay? I opened DSP Gaming in 2010. At that time, I was very popular on YouTube and everyone liked me, okay? I operated this channel for about four years, and I never really saw anything negative thrown towards it. When I moved across the country in 2014, all of a sudden, boom, I was hit with tons of negativity, toxicity, and trolling activities. I noticed attitudes change towards me, right? I started having people try to purposefully ruin multiplayer sessions. I saw people try to ruin chats. I saw people start leaving crazy amounts of negative comments on my videos. And at that time, it was basically just, oh, this video sucks. And who cares? Leave the negative comment, download the video. I don't give a crap. You can leave that, right? It's not a big deal. Then in 2015, ramped up. Multiple false copyright strikes against my channel, and I got swatted. And then in 2016, it continued. And basically, it just kept escalating. It got to the point where it was a meme to hate on Dark Side Phil, and people were actually, get this, competing to leave the most toxic, hurtful, nasty, disgusting comment they could on my videos. Why would they do that? Because then, that comment would be highlighted in one of these negative videos about me. There were actually people who would take clips of a playthrough and then look at the comments and look for the nastiest ones. So it wasn't that these people genuinely cared. They just wanted attention in a video. But the thing is, the things they said were ridiculously harmful. Some people were doxing me and my family members. Some people were leaving racist, sexist, awful things, accusing me of pedophilia. You know, the worst level of shit you could see on the internet. Um, and it got so bad in 2017 that... I actually got contacted by some of my longest running fans behind the scenes and they banded together and started writing me and were like, just so you know, it's to the point where it's so bad in your video comments that like, we don't even want to watch your content anymore. Like it's not even a fun, productive place to be because the moment we press play, we look down and there's insanely bad stuff down there. Now we know you're one man and you can't moderate every single video or whatever. So we recommend you just turn your comments off. And I was like, okay, I guess this is what we have to do. It was just this pro ongoing process. Like I said, it started around 2014, and every year it just got worse and worse to the point where it was like the breaking point. All right. Um, now, here's the thing. Did I want to turn off comments? Absolutely not. But YouTube didn't have a real way to, do, to fix things back then. It was either comments on or off, or if you're going to sit there and moderate all your comments, right? So, basically what I did is I did turn off comments. And... Yeah, it hurt my channel. Absolutely it did. It hurt my channel. It hurt my content. You know, it's one of the reasons why the channel had a big decline is because people can't, there's no sense of community. But there already was no sense of community because the comments were so vile, anyone who wanted to be positive couldn't do that, you see? So it was either like be completely negative or have nothing. I would rather have nothing than have complete negativity. Maybe other people disagree and would rather just have comments on and let these idiots just have full reign of whatever they want to do. Uh, I didn't want that, and I turned it off, okay? Comments were off for a good three, four years, but I continued on. I had video views. People watched my streams. They contributed. You know, I continued on. Turning off video comments did not kill me. It might have killed other content creators. It did not kill me, all right? But then when I returned to YouTube full-time in 2021... I left Twitch because of the big fiasco over there being insanely unprofessional and treating me awfully. I said, well, now if I'm going to be back here full time and all my efforts will be focused on YouTube, then I want to get a community building back up again, okay? And so I wanted to look into turning on video comments. And lo and behold, in the four years my video comments were off, YouTube instituted a new system that would catch comments and basically put them through a filter. They would auto filter for words that were harmful. So any racist words, any really nasty sexual words, you know, stuff like that would be auto caught and filtered out. I also had the ability to put in certain catchphrases and words like I could put in, 
you know, street addresses and shit that people were trying to dox, and it would catch those and filter it out. Any other comments that essentially were not deemed as ultra harmful go into a queue that I look at and I, I read the comments and I approve them, all right? And then they show up. So now you can leave comments on all of my videos for the last three years, and all you gotta do is wait a little bit. They don't show up instantly, but as long as it's not some kind of a toxic ass comment, it shows up on my video within like 24 hours because I just got, I go to the queue a few times a day and I review the queue and I approve, 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 approve. Now I'm going to be honest, it's not foolproof. What I've noticed, sometimes if I'm checking the app on my phone, I see certain comments. If I then go to the comment section on my desktop, I see different comments. How does that make sense? It should all be the same. But YouTube is a piece of garbage with people who code really weirdly and it's just so odd. I wish it all worked well and it was 100%, you know, good and kosher. It's not. It just doesn't work half the time. So I know for a fact there's people who leave comments and they never show up. And then they say, Phil, what happened? I didn't leave a toxic comment. I was trying to be positive. What happened? I'm like, I don't know. YouTube ate the comment. There's nothing I can really do. You know, I, I, I have to work with the tools available. If I open comments completely 100%, that whole troll element will just come right back. And they'll just continuously flood the videos with really nasty, toxic stuff on purpose. And it'll go right back to how it was pre-2017, where everyone hated the comments and didn't want to watch the videos anymore. So, the way I see it is, it, the lesser of two evils is to have the comment filtering system where I can at least get some of the comments on the videos, right? And it, I'm sorry to those whose comments get eaten, okay? Now... What this comment is saying, or this suggestion is saying, is turn back comments on all of your videos. I thought I had, but maybe what happened was in 2021, all that happened is all new videos at that point had comments turned on. Maybe that's the case. Because I know for a fact, you could still leave comments on my old, old videos from pre-2017. All right? But I think you're right. I think there's no comments on any videos from 2017 to 2021. They're all off, right? So I guess the question is, how would you do that, right? Like, for example, right now, if I went to my channel, I'm looking at all my videos. And I click on, I don't know, select all. All it says is 30 videos selected. Now, how would I select all videos forever on my channel? I, I don't know, <laughs> you know? And also, you know, what are the actions? that I can do here. Edit, uh, there is comments. On, with comment moderation, pause comments or turn all off. That's what it says, okay? So it looks like it's possible. But I guess the question is, how do I select all of my videos on my channel? I think I hit select all. Now it says all videos selected. What does that even mean? Does it mean all videos on my channel forever? And now if I try this and I hit comments and I hit on but comment moderation basic. I could try it. Let's see what happens. You're about to update the selected videos. The update cannot be stopped once it is started. I understand the implications of this action. Well, this is just turning comments on for moderation. This isn't deleting videos. This isn't, you know, destroying my channel. Uh, I guess we'll try it. You ready to see what happens? This could fuck everything up. I hope not. Updating videos. It's safe to navigate away, but wait before making another bulk update. So, let's see what happens. I'm trying it. I hope it doesn't screw the channel up. Basically, what this should do is have comments on all videos, but with the moderation feature. So, you can comment on any video, but don't expect the comment to show up right away. It's going to go into my queue, and I have to approve your comment. Okay? There you go. Exactly. What could possibly go wrong? Well, with YouTube, they'll probably think that I just tried to delete all my videos. Right? Knowing YouTube. I mean, I'm not even joking. Doing anything like this on YouTube is a huge liability because YouTube doesn't work right. It's just, they they act like they're the best site on the planet, like they're a bunch of brainiacs. In reality, the coders at YouTube are some of the most ridiculous silver spoon in the mouth people, all went to Ivy League colleges. They all get coddled and treated like they're some special, you know, snowflakes. They sit there eating pomegranate apples and, and doing, uh, you know, meditation classes instead of doing work. 
I'm not kidding. They actually have like exercise meditation classes that they do during their work day over at Google. Um, I wish I was a jo exaggerating. I'm not. Um, but yeah, like it's just weird that the way that they operate as a company. So I would not be surprised that I just said, oh, bulk update all of my videos to turn on comment moderation. You know, so that if anyone's that have the comments off, now you can comment on it. And this like deletes half my videos. Let's see what happens. It's running right now, okay? It says you can navigate away. The thing is, loud. this could take, I mean, DSP Gaming is a 14 year running channel. It could literally take hours and hours for this to take effect. But I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't destroy my comment section. Uh, we'll find out later today, I guess. So there you go. Suggestion taken. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, this is just another person saying short in the podcast. And you know I'm not going to even care about that. Uh, said the DSP versus the internet playlist on DSP Reacts to order videos from newest to oldest. I think I did that. I think I've done this one. I think I, when I saw this comment come in, I actually went ahead and automatically did it. Yes, I did. I did. So now the latest clip is the one that shows up, not the oldest. Because for like a year, the original video was the one showing and nothing recent. So I changed it. So now it's the most recent video that shows up there. So that one, that, that suggestion was accepted and already applied a month ago. So there you go. Cool. Uh, I have to I have to remember when I do suggestion box to periodically check for contributions and stuff because I don't see them pop up anymore. Uh, so no, no nothing there. And shit. Oh, I clicked on the wrong. Shout out to. Maddie, who became a super supporter member of the channel. Thank you so much, Maddie. I missed it because I was reading the suggestion box. Sorry about that. I appreciate that, Maddie. And I will have to keep my eyes peeled periodically for for uh, contributions. Okay. All right, let's continue. Now, again, this is out, uh, these suggestions are outdated. These are from like a month ago. Let's listen to this. I think part of the toxicity in your tech and stream stems from how you act when you play the game. It's rage and calling people names. And it fosters behavior from the audience. What? No, but the audience that that says that does toxic things to me will do it toxic things to me if I'm the nicest guy on the planet. It's just because they're toxic people looking to create a narrative. We talked about this two days ago. That doesn't matter what I say or do. They're just there to make me look like a villain. But I'll agree with you that there is a rage issue when I play fighting games, um, particularly when I I'm losing and I don't understand why, and I feel like I'm not learning. I've always said that if you're playing a fighting game and you lose, as long as you learn something from the loss, <clears throat> right, then it's not a loss. It's actually you're just collectively gaining knowledge that'll make you better over time. But if you play a game and you just get trounced, and it's like, dude, I have no idea why that happened. So I, I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna learn. That's what's frustrating. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, and I that's something I need to work on. <clears throat> oh, let's see here. There are times when I'm turning into your podcast. I love it. I want to send some support, but I don't. You don't do shout outs till the end of the show. My work can sometimes call me away and I miss the end of the podcast and sometimes the stream and I miss the opportunities to support. I think I speak for most people when I say we really enjoy the instant feedback from tips to super chats. My suggestion is you do shout outs throughout the podcast. I think that would make it more engaging for the audience and guys like me who like these shout outs won't put it off and possibly lose the opportunity. Um, although I appreciate that and I understand where you're coming from. The problem with that is on the podcast, I have segments that are focused. So for example, I might have a topic I really want to cover today that's important, whether it's a news story or it's an update about something going on on the channel. And I got a story to tell or I got a lot to explain. And if I'm every two seconds stopping what I'm doing to do a shout out and stopping what I'm doing because of shout out, shout out, shout out, we'll never get through it. And a lot of the times you lose your train of thought, right? It would be like, you know, I'm telling a story and then I have to keep interrupting myself. And I know where was I? Uh, da, da, you know? And so that's that does suck. And I agree with you. <clears throat> it makes sense to get that instant gratification. It does. At the same time, you know that the end of the podcast is when I do all the collective shout outs, correct? So because of that, just watch the end of the podcast every day. And I, I mean, if you can't be here live, I get it. It's on demand. 
just open up the show, scoot to the end of the podcast when you know the shout outs are, and there you go. And FYI, within 24 hours of every podcast uh, being uh, posted, there's AI generated timestamps that are in the in the description. <clears throat> So you can literally click on the timestamp to skip exactly to the point where the shoutouts begin. And there you have it, okay? The the instant shoutouts are definitely available during gameplay because in gameplay, you can pause the game. You don't lose your train of thought. The game's still running, right? <clears throat> For me telling, you know, doing a segment that's very targeted at a certain topic, to interrupt it constantly and interrupt that stream of consciousness or that train of thought or that thing I'm trying to say... It doesn't benefit. I, I know for a fact because it's happened. There's been streams where I'm, I'm doing something and I get interrupted. I come back like, what the hell was I saying? And then I can't even get back to the point that I was trying to make because I can't remember what it was. So I agree with the, the notion of the instant gratification for contributions. I just don't think it works during certain segments of the podcast. It would make me lose my train of thought and ruin that part. See? Let's see here. <clears throat> uh, great goal some great goals for more money okay would be reacting to fair criticism videos of DSP like the Turkey Tom documentary and other this is how you don't play even the haters donate for stuff like this bringing back this for patron goals and tips etc well first of all I tried reacting to this is how you don't play do you remember the nightmare that created because apparently it's totally okay for people to take my content off of my channel, react to it on theirs, create their own content that then can be popular and give them views and monetization and popularity on the internet. That's okay. But if I try to do exactly the same thing that they've been doing for a decade, I shouldn't be allowed to do it just because I'm Dark Side Phil. So when I tried to react to this is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid 2 last year, two years ago, two years ago now, uh, Evil AJ tried to take it off the internet. Yeah, he literally tried to hide the video. He's like, oh, I don't want him to do that. Well, wait a minute, hold on. <clears throat> it's either it's good for everyone or it's good for no one. If you're allowed to do it, then I'm allowed to do it too. You don't get to be an asshole and hide your content because you're a scumbag to me. Which is the truth, is that the guy's a scumbag to me, right? So, someone else had already archived it and sent it to me and I reacted to it anyway. He couldn't hide it and there was nothing he could do about it, Okay. Plus, what's hilarious about the situation was months earlier, he had outright given permission on his Twitter account for me to react to it, and then he tried to rescind it later. It doesn't work like that. So anyway, that was the one I ever did. And then after that, I was like, do I really want to get into this whole problem now with reacting to content and people saying that they don't want me to do it and arguing and everything? Legally, do I have a right to do it? Yes. Do I want to fight with every motherfucker out there who's just a little brat? who thinks they could do whatever they want and I'm not allowed to do the same thing. No, I don't want to be arguing with every little brat on the internet. So that's why I basically stopped doing it. I was like, you know, I did the one. I actually had a good time, but I really don't want to waste my time arguing with children because that's literally what they are. They're adult children. They're like babies inside of adult bodies because they're just idiots with the way that they act, okay? So there you go. Now, as for the Turkey Tom documentary, again, this is something where... If I'm going to react to something, I want to be sure that at the very least, the person on the other end is not malicious in their intention, okay? And they're not trying to purposefully create an endless cycle of drama for personal benefit, okay? I was actually strongly considering doing an interview with Turkey Tom after his documentary about me until I did a little bit of research and I found out some of the really disgusting things that he had said on the internet about people, including me, Things like, oh, I just can't wait to milk this person or I'm milking them more for content. Man, I love it when they comment. I wish that they would just react to my documentary so I could get more, I could milk them further. And it's like, what? I mean, seriously, that's, that's so fucking vile to say something like that. And just casually too. Like, oh, it's just a casual statement I would make on the internet. It's fine. And no one will call me out for it. It's just okay. We're milking people left and right. For, you know, it's like, What? You're literally publicly admitting to using people in a toxic and negative way for personal gain. That is vile. It's completely immoral. Why would I then want to give you more attention, right? So that's when I said, nah, forget it. Even though people said his documentary on me was kind of down the middle. It wasn't, oh, I hate this guy, but I like this guy. It was like down the middle kind of fair. Although he was harsh in certain parts, which I expect. And I expect that from every documentary about me with the mistakes that I've made over the years, right? 
Um, but basically, yeah. Uh, after that, I was like, wow, it opened my eyes to it. And I'm like, no, I don't think I'm going to be reacting to anything unless I'm absolutely sure that someone is trying to cover something neutrally or fairly. And so that's why I'm considering later this year reacting to the June the King documentary because I know he attacks things from a neutral perspective. Now, by the end of the day, even June the King might hate my guts for the stuff I've done over the years. And you know what? What's fair is fair. He has the right to have his own opinions. But at least I know from the perspective he's going to try to cover it neutrally and fairly. I'm curious what kind of information he even dug up on the internet from stuff like the Street Fighter days because nothing exists. Like, no, it's just like forum posts from forums that are dead. IRC discussions that were never archived. So I don't have no clue what he's going to find about stuff, you know? And I think I think that's going to be fascinating. And I don't think June the King's intention is to continuously milk Dark Side Phil for six to eight months. You know what I'm saying? He's going to put out the documentary. He's interested in doing an interview with me after, depending on how my react goes to his documentary. Um, and then after that, we move on. You know? So, I guess we'll see. Okay? I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. 